Pastor Steve, thank you for the opportunity to ask you some questions about shootings. So can you tell us a little bit more about how we can respond after last night's shooting in Orlando? Yeah, you know, there was a huge tragedy. Over 50 people were shot and killed, three more injured. You know, I just can't think of something worse that would happen. You know, I've had some firsthand experience with this. I was a first responder to the shootings at Columbine High School. You know, lived in the wake of those shootings and have literally spent the past 15 years working to heal the community. So I know that the community in Orlando has a lot to overcome. But you know, one of the things that I really believe in is we all have a lot to overcome. I, I believe that for every act of violence, one act of violence, there needs to be about a thousand people acting positively to kind of rebalance the scales a little bit. And so we had 53 acts of violence last night. So it means we need to have 5,300 people dedicated today for the next several weeks doing intentional acts of kindness and compassion. I think that's why we've never allowed the violence to be victorious. We never allow the violence to be victorious because we're victorious. We're the ones who bring the kingdom of God into the middle of our lives, into the middle of our world, by committing ourselves to intentional acts of kindness and compassion. So our hearts go out to all the people in Orlando. Our hearts are with them as their hearts are broken, especially this next coming week. But literally with them, over the next 15 years, it takes that long to heal. So join with us, join with me as we remember the people in Orlando, Florida. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Steve.